Hi everyone and welcome to the 2016 Under 10-30 National Championships here from the Sir Tom Finney Sports Centre in Preston. And next up we have the Under 12 Boys Semi-Final between the number one seed from Buckinghamshire, Jamie Liu. And he's taking on the number three seed from Lancashire, Rhys Davies. So the umpires just doing their final checks of the players' bats before we get started. It's been another fantastic day's play here at the Sir Tom Finney Sports Centre. Today with the under 10 and under 12 age categories. Jim Liu, number one seed. Runner up yesterday in the under 13s to Amrul Hussain. And today looking to take national title in his age category at under 12 been fairly straightforward for Jamie so far on the route to the semi-final in the quarter-final Jamie took on Luke Nemo from Lincolnshire and taking that one three games to nil as for Reese, again been playing very well in quarter-final took on Harry Boston from Cambridgeshire Harry proven more of a challenge for Reese, and but it was Reese who came through that one three games to one so players just doing their final practice before we get the semi-final underway on the other tables we have the other semi-finals taking place so in the opposite semi-final we have Louis Price from Avon Taking on Mahmoud Kalani from Kent. And the girls' sem semi finals we have Scarlett O'Neill taking on Jasmine Williams. And in the last, the girls' semi finals, Sophie Chiang takes on Anea Patel. So here we go then. The first game, best of five games. Jamie with the serve. First who says Jamie's just drifting slightly longer, giving Reese a chance to top spin. And Reese getting stuck straight into the semi final. Makes a nice positive start, being aggressive with that forehand. A bit of fortune there from Jamie. It's good forehand from Reese. step around that back and corner, play down the line. Jamie just trying to get his bat onto it. Clips the edge of the table to get one back. Oh, that's more trademark Jamie Liu there. Nice shot serve. Push long from Reese. Jamie reading the placement, steps round. Executes great for him to finish the point. Reese showing his unfazed by playing the number one seed. Knows he needs to attack and take the game to his opponent. Another chance there for Reese. Just held back slightly. Didn't get the power on the ball he needed. Nice serve there from Jamie. Short the forehand. Common tactic when youngsters play each other. Um, short the forehand. Obviously, most youngsters not too tall. It's quite a reach to, to get the short forehand. Half of them to control the spin that's on the ball. Well, it's Jamie has opened up convincingly in this first game lead, it's 8-3. Good work right there from Reese. Moved away a little too easy but kept working to get that ball on the table. Put the opponent under pressure.
And whilst Reese needs to take the game to his opponent, must try and keep top spin on that ball. But the first game goes Jamie Lewis way, and he takes that one 11 5 to lead the semi final, one game to nil. So it was a positive start from Reese. He looked to get, get straight in there. Knows he has to attack if he's going to have a chance in his semi. And to be fair, Jamie Lee was giving him the chance to. Just needs to make sure he keeps giving it the power it needs as well as the spin. Jamie. Very experienced. Needs to think about the placement of his serve. That can cause his opponent some problems. But then must look to attack straight away and not give his opponent any chances. So, start of game two. Jamie leading one game to nil. But it's Reese with the serve. Backhand off the end, gives the first point to Reese. Retrieving there by Reese, kept him in the point. Jamie just missing the side. I think Reese just needs to be careful, he doesn't move away too easy. Jamie now starting to add a slightly more variation on the serve there, reverse spin coming around the outside of the ball. Oh, lucky there. You can see the tap from Jamie, he was allowing Reese to get in. Get him around the back and corner, then switch it quickly. Pushes Reese away. It's all square. Players having a quick towel down. Players can towel down every six points. Not just used as a, a practical tool for removing the sweat from your hand or your head, but also as a, just a, a quick moment of thinking time. Think about what's happening and what they're going to do with the next point. Reese looking to get in. Serve just staying short. Not kicking through. Oh, well worked there by, by Jamie. Reese good with the serve. Again, reverse spin. Short the forehand. Ball sat up. Lamp to get in. Jamie there trying to be aggressive but hitting the ball quite flat, not getting the, the lift he needed. So all level here. Six all in his second game. Good switch. Race pumps his fist in the direction of his coach, showing that he's happy about winning that one. And there again, serves short the forehand. Jamie unable to keep the ball tight. Allows Reese to get in with that top spin. And there we can see the Jamie Liu tactic. Happy to let Reese get in around the back and corner, but then it opens up the rest of the table. Massive movement for a player to get over there. Great rally. Oh, well played, Reese Davis. Good exchange by both players there, but it's Reese who came off better off. Now it's Reese Davis with three game points here in game two. Oh, very well played at the end there. Picks up the half long serve. Heavy spin on the ball, really brushing it. fine contact on the ball. Loading the ball with top spin, ball sits up and then. He was always in the driving seat to finish it off. And it's Rhys Davis who takes the second game 11-7 and levels his semi-final at one game all. So a good play there by Rhys. Again, aggressive as he was in game one, but with a little bit more thought and consideration. I was a little bit smart with the serves as well. Jamie just needs to be careful not to let his opponent in too easy. Needs to be the aggressor. And try and take control of this semi-final again. 
Oh, that's great play. Jimmy trying to step things up again, and he did in that point. Aggressive play, but great use of the table. Hitting those corners, controlling the direction. Gives him the first point. And it's Jamie Lou now being a slightly more vocal. Knows he needs to up his work rate. You can see that Reese is up for this semi final. Oh, that's unlucky there. Good retrieving by Jamie. Reese trying to change position, just puts it off the end. Jamie Liu now opens a small lead, leading 4 1. Oh, good play. And it was the forehand before the last one that set it up. Deep in that back and corner. Fraction of size, but on the ball as well. Came around the outside of the ball a little. Oh, it's very well played. And Reese really stepping up to the mark. Been really effective with that heavy topspin ball first. That's given him a set up. But there, Jamie. Reacting well. And again, Reese trying to be aggressive in the way he's played. It's the right thing to do. Just needs to be careful, it doesn't move away. Try and give Jamie less time. Jamie getting in more than he has done in the past two ends. There we go, heavy spin ball. We've seen that a lot from Reese in this match so far. Steps round, brushing the ball, taking the ball a little later. Which can sometimes be a bit risky as the ball sits up a little bit higher but because of the amount of top swing he's putting on it proving difficult for Jamie to control but Jamie still keeping command of this third game leads 8-5 oh, that's a well played point there by Reese Davies got in early in the rally Push Jamie back. And again, good spin on the ball. And Jamie needs to be careful here. Ah, that's well picked up. Loose serve from Reese. Can't afford to do that. But still very much in it. So now the pressure points of this game. It, just a slight hesitation as you look for it. Right idea. But Jamie Liu now has two game points, leading 10 8. Well played. Controlled attack in from Reese. Step off the table. Let's serve called. Can he save another game point? Oh, trying to be aggressive, but just hits the top edge of his bat. And sends the ball flying into the court next to them. And it's Jamie Liu who takes the third game, 11-9. So a good end by both players there, but it's Jamie Liu who just manages to hold on at the end. But you can see there when Reese is playing with more spin initially. That's given him a chance to get in. Just needs to be careful not to move away too easy from the table and give Jamie more time. Jamie needs to be keep his initial exchanges a little tighter. And then as soon as an opportunity looks to get his top spinners in, good attacking player. Both sides, backhand and forehand, but needs to use it now. 
lets him step round, good block wide. Reese unable to get there. Ever so slightly clipping the top of the net, pushes the ball off the end. But Reese there pulls one back. Jamie just overdoing it slightly. And Jamie Liu just opening up that initial lead. Leads 3 1, but Reese with the serve. Two big points. Oh, great forehand. Serve from either side of the table. Oh, unlucky. Was pushed back. Chopped the ball. Improvised well. And timeout called. By Reese's coach. So it's still very close. Jamie with ever so slightly advantage in this game, but. I'm sure with the way Reese has been playing, he could get himself back into it. These next couple of points are going to be absolutely crucial. So, Jamie with the serve, these 4 2. Would like to get at least one of these and keep that two point advantage at least. But not if Reese has got anything to say about it. And pulls two back against the serve. Two big points there for Reese. Uh, just hitting the ball a bit flat there, Reese needs to remember. Good use of spin, that's giving him the chance. Yeah, Jamie just overdoing it again. So Reese from being 4 2 down. Worked hard, got his way back into this game. Now level five all. <laughs> Needs to take those on. That was a chance there. It's better. Much better there. Reese then not holding back. Attacking the ball, but keeping the spin on the ball, gives him an element of control that gives him a chance, so 6 all. now has the serve just need to be ready there, it was a good topspin down the line with the backhand but Jamie was ready for it, count the topspin back oh great rally by both players Fantastic play, Jamie taking the ball early. Counter tops from both sides. Reese doing what he could to get the ball back. But Jamie Liu edging closer and closer. Oh, just clips the top. Gave himself a chance. Was three great forehands to give him the smash. Just top, hits the top of the net. But that ball to side there gives Jamie Lou the game and he takes the semi final three games to one and books his place in the under 12 boys final. Well played there by Jamie Liu. Held it together. Reese obviously feeling disappointed but played very well in that semi final. Should be pleased with the performance. Things to work on but. Definitely someone to keep your eye on in the future.